Uh, that's right. It is the Gentleman's Den movie review this week. <laughs> Number one. Jeff, Sean, and Frankie here. Number one. Number one movie review. And this, we're going to do it on uh, one that's still in the theaters. We had to. It's a spoiler if you haven't yeah, seen it. This is a spoiler-filled edition. Right now. So you haven't seen it. And we haven't told you the movie yet, but... We are going to review. Just enjoy this for this few seconds before you got to turn it off then. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Uh, yes, we are going to review the Joker today. Oof. And not the Steve Miller Band song. No. <laughs> you stop stealing that. Or the, or the Cesar Romero. Show off the shirt a little bit. There we go. Yeah. little oh, Cesar yeah. Romero. Hey. Frankie didn't know who Cesar Romero was. Who? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Mike Jones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. I'm the Let's get to it. Your initial reactions. The initial reactions. Go, Frankie, go ahead and start it out because you were having a minor coronary. See, now, the, <laughs> the thing about it was, was Frankie just wanted to watch it and then do a review, which I understand. It's your, like your initial right, response. Right, right. I felt like you needed a day after seeing this. You gotta let it marinate. <laughs> yeah, because my in, my initial thought of the movie is different from when I w- left the theater to it is now. Because I yeah. I saw it before, before I went and saw it with you clowns, Thank which you. is a perfect thing for a Joker movie. Uh, clowns. Thank you. I I thought absolutely. The uh, if you want to get into the movie, the story was. Phenomenal! It, it absolutely had like a bunch of different aspects of like where you could feel where he's coming from, the backstory of how you thought he was just a normal guy, and, and how you learn he's comes from a mental in, instable place where yeah. it grows and and just uh, Akeem Phoenix, whatever Joaquin Joaquin Akeem Hicks, that Akeem fucking Hicks. guy, fucking killed it. Is absolutely. it Joaquin or Joaquin? Joaquin. Joaquin. Wa. Wa- Joaquin. You guys tell me. I'm not good with names. Just say Joaquin. Joaquin. Mr. Phoenix was fucking yeah. phenomenal. So he's like walking. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix, the second greatest actor in his family. I, I How think, dare you. Thinking about it for a day, like you, Rest you, in peace, you, you do wonder Rest though, peace, Phoenix. what is real in the movie? It makes you think, like, what. Right, because they had the whole thing about his, you know, he was, like, imagining he was with that chick. Right, and, and you know, like, that everything was going good. She was there with him, you know, supporting him with his mother. It, it, there was a lot of backstory to it, and then it comes to show later that it, it's all made up in his head. So how much of it's made up in his head? Is that the story of where he starts, and that's in his head of what happens, and then he starts to do it? See, I want to jump in as a parent. <laughs> I knew that he wasn't really dating her the whole time because she didn't look like the type that had a babysitter at the ready. And anytime they hung out, anytime right. they hung out, her daughter was nowhere to be seen. So when they started like showing them like hanging out and shit, I was like, all right, this, this isn't real because her daughter is never around and I guarantee she doesn't have a babysitter at the ready. That's, that's not in that area for sure. No. That that is a, a nice observable point. Yeah, so <laughs> like, parents are on their game. I would think of that. Plot hole number one. <laughs> <laughs> she, that bitch didn't have. I was like, who's her. watching her fucking kid the whole time they're hanging out? I'm That's like, fucking hilarious. Where is her kid at? No yeah. one's watching her child. I didn't think of it like that, but I did think like you know, yeah, like they're they're just all of a sudden this started happening. It just didn't seem. In all honesty, I just thought the daughter was a secondary plot point. Um, like, because you saw her for two seconds in the movie. You saw her in the elevator. And that's the last time, pretty much the last time you saw her. Right. You, well, heard, maybe, you heard her in the back. Well, maybe she she was, she was uh, got him, you know, every other weekend. And that was her weekend, the one time you saw her right. in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe. Maybe it was that's with the father. That's why she was able to go out on the dates. I think we're looking way too But as a, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're spending this, too much time in, this, in, in the this, parenting. This, but that was, that's a pretty But as a parent, that's an observation. Yes. But what what is fantasy in that, and what's real? It, it, it it's really well directed too, the way that it's shot and, and the scenes and like what builds up to it, how you learn his, you know, his pain and what he's going through, and you could tell that he just wants to be a normal, happy guy, 
and it just looks like the world just in, you know what I mean hits all, him and kicks him when he's down in every way. In all honesty, it is a great look at someone with mental illness. Yeah. yeah. 100% what people go through on a daily basis. Not as intense. Well, anytime you saw him like laugh, like uncontrollably, it yeah. was always in like an awkward or... Situation, it, right. It was, it was like when... Or a diminutive yeah. way. Then yeah. he'd start laughing. And he thought it was a condition. But that's just the way his brain... Yeah, he thought it was he funny. was sick. He thought it was fucking hilarious. Right. Yeah, that's, I it, thought that would have been more towards the end of uncontrollable <clears throat> laughing when he got to do his joke in his punchline. Well, I thought he would have been thought it was so funny that he would have been hysterical and uncontrollable as everyone's running out of the studio. If you noticed when he read about his mother, is when he stopped laughing. His whole demeanor changed. It was a completely different character. Right. Yeah. And when he was on that show, like the last scene where he shoots he was Robert so De Niro, clear. it was that was the most normal he had been. Yeah, he was so for clear. him the most normal. Right. So, so is clear. that when it clicked? Is when he becomes the psychopath murderer that he is comfortable with and knows who he is now? What it was was he saw reality for what it was and t- stopped taking everybody's input in about his life and he just focused on him yeah the 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 psychiatrist talks were pretty good too like how in depth like where they don't really listen to his problems they tell him what they well he's just that's how it is though they're just a number right exactly write the prescription you say the same thing over and over and over how's work going but like she don't give a fuck and he knows it he's well he's starting to figure it out at his last when she tells him we this is the last time we're going to see each other right he's like you don't listen do you talk about when i have negative thoughts all i have are negative negative thoughts thoughts. and that's when i think he comes to terms too that's when it starts (laughs) rolling because he's he's the ball starts rolling i thought the most powerful scene in that movie well, maybe not the most powerful, but one of the most memorable scenes is before he killed his mother after he found out all that shit and he's yeah. sitting down in the hospital and he's like, I haven't been happy one second in my entire fucking life. Right. I was like, holy shit. Because that is when he stopped trying to be the nice guy. Right. And and, make, and making everyone like him. He kind of was just being That was the him. switch, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done because sure. he realized finally that it's not it a was tragedy. Just him. Yeah, yes. it's a comedy, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the amount that he was shit on his life because it goes, you know, it goes even more in depth with the when he finds the thing and finds out he was abused. And let's be honest, you don't they don't say it, but there's obviously it was implied sexual abuse when he was a kid and physical. Right. Yeah. He he was tormented, and obviously he's blocked that out. Right, because he didn't even remember it. Right. So that's when he finds out and he gets all all the records and everything. That's when, like you said, the switch is flipped to where he goes into a different persona of who he is and where he's from. He finds his true self, honestly. Right, and then after that, he killed that one guy with the scissors. Right, because he was the one that kind of confident, right, as if he wanted to. Right, and then after that, and then he's doing the dancing on the stairway. Well, I don't even think you could see the scissors that are up there. But you those, see are the back of them. those are them right there. Yeah, movie props. <laughs> but uh, Cost me 1500 on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Except shit. for Jim Surplus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. This guy behind the alley told me they were the actual. I got it from the same guy who sold me those beanstalks. <laughs> <laughs> but he said it's the actual <laughs> scissors from the movie. <laughs> oh, those beans wasn't uh, bad. No. No. Uh, God damn it. I forgot what I was going to say now. With with the when he finds his confidence, his self confidence, it is a, it's a crazy scene because you're like, you know something is going to explode, you know, right? Because it's finally at that point, and then when he lets the little guy go, the right? Because the he has the door. Oh, sorry, I forgot what the guy's name was already. Because I. I honestly, I don't know if you guys remember, I was cracking up before. The golf? Because you, you knew that was going to happen. I oh, knew yeah. that was going to happen. Kayla, like, uh, my lady, said the same thing. She's like, yeah. he dead bolted the door. Yeah, so like, he <laughs> said there, he's I, like, I, go I, ahead. I remember when he, you know, that's the one thing I remember when he slid that on there, and I'm like, 
There's a reason why he did that. I was There's cracking. There's a reason. I cannot wait to see the. Re- I can't oh. wait to see the punch off, the punchline. Yeah, I, I, I caught it pretty quick, and I was just giggling. Like I said, I, just, I, wait to see <laughs> I thought the guy was going to try to run, and then he was going to kill the little guy. Right, because he didn't want witnesses, but then, like. Yeah. Then he's just like, he was killed. It was a weird anti-hero kind of thing. Well, I think it kind of showed, too, like, he's not in it for to just hurt people. People that were hurting he's, he him. He was fucking right. the people that wronged him. Right. It was everyone that made fun of him. Is right. who ends up dead, and I think that that's like a big thing. So he's basically a superhero against anti-bullying. Yeah, it's 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 in all <laughs> honesty. It's like an anti-bullying campaign. Yeah. So you take something that's sick and twisted as a villain, and you turn it into a light of a way that he. You see the uh, the you, good in him. You, no, you you but you feel, it makes you feel compassion compa- for him. right. You, you feel sorry and the compassion for him of what and, he's gone through, and and finally standing up for himself to the people that have kept him down. <laughs> there you go. You have the back. Your microphone's cockeyed. So OCD's no, kicking in. I'm my OCD's kicking in. I'm right on it. See, I'm not like a clean freak, but like if I see a picture that's crooked, it's getting adjusted. Yeah, I'm fucking, I can't stand that shit. There's certain things that tweak certain people. Kind of like uh, the Joker's uncontrollable laughter and. You know, situation. Right. Yeah, for sure. There's all things that get at people, and they do that they don't really realize that they it's, can't control. It's like when your adrenaline kicks in right before a fight, and your hands are shaking, and you're you know you're you start tensing up a little bit. That's like his fight or flight response. Right. Is the laugh. The just from st- just from start to finish. I mean, I th- I mean there was some comic relief. I mean, yeah. but it wasn't like it was dark. Ha ha shit. Right. You know, it was the shit with the the deadbolt. Like when he walked into the fucking glass door at the hospital, right? Yeah. Like that was like, but like from beginning to end, it was, it was fucking intense. It was yes. it, it was a punch in the gut until he snapped. And I love that they're doing that with movies now. I mean, like, all right, so like the the Batman movies have always been more of a, a, a you know superhero comic relief, like, comic-y, yeah. little little yeah comic-y, little fake, and until the Peter Nolans came out. Christopher Nolan or Christopher Nolan? Who? Who? Who's that? Both those guys. Who are they? Christopher Nolan is the director of Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Okay, Dark so Dark yes, series. when the Batman came out like that, and it was in a different light of actual, you know, a real situation of real stuff. I mean, obviously he's a Tim billionaire Burton, and stuff. I, I thought Tim Burton's was pretty dark. The first one uh, of even the one with the, the penguin, penguin, the penguin, and well, the was Batman it, and Batman. Are that, yes, Tim, that Tim might Burton be the most. Doing both. Yes, those two. Yeah, the the original and the. The original uh, Michael Keaton version, right? Yeah. See, he wanted to make them different too. Like the first yeah. when he when he grabs the guy, you know, Michael Keaton's Batman. Yeah. And he says, "I'm Batman." Yeah. Like he in the script, it says, "I'm Batman, motherfucker." Right. Or they had the I'm or I'm or I'm fucking Batman. Or it was something. It was like, I'm Batman, motherfucker. Was it? Just, yeah. yeah. Probably two hundred percent sure. Goddamn right. I'm the leader. Of, but that's what I'm saying. Like because I watched the uh, behind the. Not behind the scenes. I watched. They were gonna make a Superman movie with Nicolas Cage. Tim yeah. Burton was gonna direct it, and oh, uh, yeah, it was in that documentary about how the Batman movie was supposed to be even darker than it was. So but getting mean, back to the Joker, it was. I mean, from the beginning scene where he's making faces right. in the and fucking got the mirror tear coming down. and the tear, and that wasn't even in the script. He just improvised that really that was a fucking beautiful shot it was just it was fucking his nuts kicked in the whole beginning. and then yeah right off the bat he's happy smiling waving the sign and then boom did you guys catch that though like when he's laying down on the ground and he goes to reach for the broken sign yeah and then he ends up going back and he he hits the button to squirt water out of his flower did you see the water come out of the flower no i didn't catch yeah. that <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you watched one of those behind the making kind of things. Well, yeah, I, I saw it the first time, and then I I uh, I watched one of those behind the behind the scene shit, and they actually they're like, yeah, we we put that in there purposely. Like he was like struggling, and then he like found still the humor his, in it. Yeah, still doing it. And he job, hit the basically. button and squirted water out of the flower. <laughs> See, and there's stuff like that that makes like a that story little shit. So yes, good. yes, and the fact that that was all done in a real, you know, a a real. Scenery, not just a, a CGI, and not just done in a studio. Oh, yeah, it, was, it was like shot in 1970s New York. Yes, That's and I, I love movies that are like real, 
world places that they shoot in instead of just making it in in, in you know some warehouse so right. i i really respect movies like that like like we've talked about before like how the turtles movie like it, it was dark even for back then and then like right. it came back and then now it's a cartoon i like that some of these movies now are going back to being the dark you know more real just more real grittier yes that you could see that there's people like that in the world that are struggling and going through this and you you know and and, and i don't want to get into like all this but like there are fucking crazy shit going on in the world where, where they're shootings all the time and people that are just snapping well that's and they're like why well this is kind of why because people can only take so much in society it shows to where how he was one of the wanted to be a happy person and he just kept getting beat up and put down and put down to where he didn't want to take it anymore yeah. And lied to, yeah. Right, so it, it people are hurt by other people's actions, and a lot of people go through their lives and not think about things that they've said or things that they've done to other people and may have hurt them and made them feel, you know, bad. And, I'm, you know, we've all done it. When you're young and done, I mean, I've done it to tons of people, oh, and I feel feel bad, and you know what I mean? Well, yeah, you, when you're, bullying is just a way of life when right. you're growing up. Out Especially, and, like, yeah, the group, there's a group mindset. It's a mob mentality. Like, you don't even want to, like, pick on this guy, but you're like... Yeah, you know you're if you're, you're in fucking starts, grade school, and you know right, you're with four of your doing, friends, and and see like even back then in high school, like I the, remember the, guys, the, the kids that beat him up in the alley. There's yeah. probably one kid who didn't want to do it, you right? Know, yeah. But he's kicking him just because the other guys are kicking, right? It's, well, like that's you, said. you hear the one guy yelling, "Kick him, kick him harder!" Like yeah. the, the leader, yeah, of them, and that's the, the guy that doesn't want to do it the most, and he's the one who's probably getting you know abused at home, yeah, right, you know, and 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 that's what I'm saying. It goes so deep, like. I used to try to, like, you know, when people were, like, bullying kids in school and they would book some kid, I'd go up to that dude and book him. And be oh, like, fuck fucking, yeah. Fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> I dick, do like, like it. And I, I was cool with everyone, but that's what I mean. Like, and I've done millions of dick things to people, but you might have done it in a sense where you thought, ah, oh, he knows I'm just joking around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But We like, make fun of each other all the time. Give right. each other shit, but. But it is, it's, it's a very, it's a very cold world and a lot of people do things that hurt other people even if it's intentional or not like it's just how the world works so yeah that and that, that's a perfect I think example maybe that's that why movie. the movie was so so dark because it was it was kind of a reflection of it's real life real right? Li right you know exactly i mean it's well, like people look at it and they're like oh i was disturbed by it it's like yeah because you're because it's reality exactly right that's why you were so disturbed because you, you were that see, asshole picking on the kid in school right <laughs> That's why the murders were so disturbing, and this was so disturbing. Right. Like, we were talking about I mean, it the on the ride home. John Wick kills how many people? <laughs> yeah. Like, no one get, no yeah. one even thinks about it. Like, he killed three guys in a bar with a right. fucking Well, they killed his pencil. dog, dude. All right? They killed his dog, so yeah, he could kill 67 guys in a clan club. No but problem. that's the difference. Watch the third one. It right, gets yeah. even crazy. No one fucking... No one says shit about John Wick, but right. now when this movie came out, everyone's like, "Oh, it's so uh, disturbing." Well, well, they also, is it really? They no, all, they also did it too because of the Aurora shooting and the guy because he shot them all during the last Batman, and he came in saying he was the Joker. That's why Maybe. they were. That's why they were freaked out about it because they were gonna be like, "Oh, great, there's gonna be more mass killings because of." <sighs> That's an, uh, that's it sucks that like stuff like that like you don't want to put no, something but, out out there yeah, but for the, someone to react in a certain way. The problem is with that that is the media also pushing it way out of yeah, fucking proportion. Absolutely, like if yeah, you but you know what they did? Murders? They made it the highest rated rated <laughs> rated R movie of all time because yeah. they're they're talking about it. That's why I mean, let's not get political, but you know Donald Trump, like he gets so much like negative shit, negative shit. I think it pushes people to the other side where they're yep. like. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm voting for him. You know it's weird. Yeah, right. like that. It's, it's the uh, you can't have that. You can't have that. You can't have that. Right. Well, I'm gonna have that. Don't think elephants. Yeah. I'm taking a fucking elephant. I'm taking three right. of them. <laughs> and then you that's, can't that's have those cookies over is. there. You're just staring at them the whole time. Like I'm gonna get one of those yeah. cookies. It's it's everything psychological. It, it's 100. We're, we're, we're raised in a way to think a certain way. Jeff, you just opened my mind. That's what they're doing. <laughs> They're pushing, pushing for another year, another four years of Trump. That's why they're jumping down his throat. I'm See, telling you, man. All right, so the first murders in the Joker is when he's on the train minding his own fucking business, and there's some dudes harassing an innocent woman. Yeah. 
Well, and then he looks over, and she gives him the eye contact. Kind of like, like Are help you gonna me. Help me. And then he starts laughing, and he gets yeah. nervous and starts laughing because probably deep down he thinks it's funny too. Right. But then they start fucking with him, and and it was a flashback to the kids in the alley. Right. Yeah. And that's when he yeah. snaps. But at the same time, they are beating the fuck out of him. Well, like I told you, that's and I'll ask you the first two murder shots that he killed the guys with could be held up as self-defense. Right. The third one, not so much. Right. And you shoot the guy four times in the back on the stairwell yeah. just trying to get away. And, and that, But that's adrenaline, too. And I'm not going to lie, if someone did try to threaten my life, I probably wouldn't let them get away either. And that's just being... Totally well, that was, a, that was a reactionary spur of the moment. Right. He yeah. just did it. And then the right. third guy and had to go because it was self protection. Oh, well, that was, yeah. was the change we were talking about letting the little guy go. Like yeah. he didn't let that third guy go, right? Because he was beating his ass too. And then he told the guy at the psych ward when he was looking at his mom's files, yeah. like, "I did some bad things." Right. He wanted to talk to someone. And about I thought it. it would affect me, and it, it did. really didn't. Right. And the way it, that they it, made it hit sound, like when he's talking about it, like he already goes into the file and starts telling him some things. And I think that's when it starts to click. Well, that's what I said. As soon as he got that file is when it went from full-blown that was the, nervousness. That was right. the full-on change. You saw yeah. a change in his attitude. It from- was the way I saw it. It was, it was like you could, you could see like his outer exterior melting off. And then when he looks back, when, like when he gets back to the house and his hair is wet and he's, you know, he's just hulked over. And yeah. You just see the rage seething out of him as he's sitting down. I want to talk about his performance, though. <sighs> It was honestly I amazing. Don't get me wrong, the movie was great. His performance is better than the movie, I thought. Yeah, yeah. oh, for sure. It, I think it, the actor makes the movie. Oh, that's yeah. any movie. 200%. If it was a a different actor and it wasn't as good, the movie, the movie still would have been good. Right. It wouldn't have been what it is though. It's just cuz he's so awkward like like you everything. see everything. He's just like I awkward, felt dude. that entire movie, like when he's like, like the first scene when he's making faces and then he starts crying. I was like, "Fuck, dude!" Just like I felt for him. Right. You and then just when he was see the pain and feel the pain that he's going through. Right. And when like he's he wants doing to be this, happy, but he's so sad. But even before he did the stand-up comedy, when he was there just hanging out and he's like <laughs> laughing by himself when yeah. no one else is laughing, and then he's like looking around when everyone else is laughing. Like, oh yeah, when he's at the right. when he's at the comedy like, club. How uncomfortable. Notes. For him, did you feel like I was yeah. like sitting there, like no, 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 don't laugh, don't laugh. Right, right, I agree, two hundred percent. Yeah, I, I was doing the same thing. It was like, like I don't said, laugh, no, no, no. Everyone has a different sense of humor. Like sometimes you guys are cracking up, and I don't even. I'm like, I don't think that's funny. You guys are fucking dumb. But then there's other shit that happens, and well, I'm dying, and you guys are looking at me like you high motherfucker. You are fucking so stupid. Yeah, like what everyone has a different that? humor. And then when he did his stand-up comedy, I was so nervous for him. Right. I was, like, clenching my felt, chest, like, it, oh, it was, please, it I was, hope this goes well. Right. You it felt was, like a friend in like the crowd. Right. I did. Like I said, it's that you, you get the compassion for him. Like, you know? if one of you was doing stand-up comedy and started bombing, that's exactly what you would feel how like. I would feel. Right. Like, oh, and, and that's the crazy, And that's the crazy thing, too, because we've had, while DJing, have the fucking shit just shut off. Oh, yeah. It is... It's, it's it'll worst. be off for three three seconds, and it feels the like the whole crowd is turned. It. You're the worst motherfuckers in that place, especially at a Boom. wedding because it is the biggest day of yeah. their lives. Right. Please I know. I, I've been in a bar off. a couple of times where that happened, and I'm like, oh fuck. See the, the <laughs> bar the, that sucks. You get gut punched. No one cares at a bar though. A yeah. wedding yeah. is it's fucking. I heard booze at the bar. I wasn't at the wedding. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> They're drunk anyway. They'll forget <laughs> it in ten we seconds. Had one wedding. Turn the jukebox on. It, it shit out on us. Yeah. That was that one in uh, Kenosha, right? Right down by the lake. No, that was um, Lake Geneva. Oh yeah, we had to have it twice then, because then we have it. See, that's what I'm saying. And then what did we do? We started to sing along. And that's yeah. great. But what if that was the tipping point for this bride to be like? And she smothered her mother in the hospital? Maybe she smothered you with cake and killed you for fucking up her wedding. Hey, there could be worse I'd eat my way You could have been loading up the equipment, and she's like, hey, guys. I'd eat my way right out of it. <laughs> That's what we Try to smother me a right. cake? Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I love that strawberry uh, cream filling. Little did you know. <laughs> I love cake. I love cake. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Little things build up for people. And, and 
that's, you, you just that's why you gotta to find snap. an outlet. I like this. They took a different uh, way with the story about how his obviously his mother was fucking nut fucking bad crazy, right? But she made it up in her head that he was Bruce. Uh, or no, Bruce Thomas Wayne. Thomas Wayne's, Wayne's son. son. Yeah. yeah. Cause so, because you there was little increments. I used to work there. Right. Blah blah blah. He's gonna help us. You think you think you kind of believe it? You, it's like he did. You do. I I I believed oh, it when it was first when and she I first kind of like how yeah. it when he first read the letter. Yeah. And then after he like met Bruce and talked to the guy, and then when right. he met Thomas Wayne in the bathroom, and he's like, "Your mother's fucking nuts." And right. He just I was starts like, laughing. What? Because <laughs> yeah, he was super uncomfortable because he just kind of was like. I it, thought this was true. This I is did what I was like. Told. I did like how they portrayed Thomas Wayne as a dickhead, as a fucking rich prick. You yes. know, they could have. He still did have the one in the city. city. Yeah, he. I want to help these people. Yeah, but, fucking clowns. But did see? That's how. See, we're talking politics again. That's how yeah. politics work. Right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do and that. Then the next I'm a good guy. I'm clowns. one of you. Yes, he's calling them clowns, pieces of shit. And that's where the city turns. And I do like how it intertwined that with the with the Batman story, where at the end it shows where he kills everyone and everyone's rioting and going nuts because someone was executed on live TV and he snapped. And there was already an epidemic of the mobsters of all the clowns. Oh, let's not forget the super rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. But it is because that's, that, that's the turning point and that's how Batman came about because his city was so beyond saving. Right. Yes. He had to take on this persona of the Batman and to when, fucking save the city. When did it go down? I mean, I got, obviously it was already on a decline. He wanted to save the city as Bruce Wayne. But at the end of it, they were at a show when the outbreak happened. And, well, that, and getting that, robbed, which is the that's, story. That's the, that's the origin story of Batman. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. And then it kind of intertwines into that and shows how his... Twains? Intertwines? Yeah. <laughs> Twains? Intertwines. <laughs> Twines. Twins. 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 That was one of the best commercials. All right. I love that commercial. <laughs> I'm just saying. We, he's getting lost. We're getting lost. Easy. Man. But I'm just saying I like how it brought that back to that story and shows how they were killed to where not, maybe now it shows where Batman has that hatred for Joker later in his life. See, yeah, but the thing is, are they going to continue that storyline? I hope so. I hope I think that it's there's a, a sequel. Movie. I do, I don't too. Think there's I really movie. hope there's a sequel. If I there don't, is, there, there I won't be because you can't. It it's like, like Avatar. Top. Avatar was a great fucking movie. Aren't they I making another one? They, they should have just left it. It was awesome. It ended just right, leave it. It ended the right way. Right. You know, the, the zoom in and the eyes open up. Why Why? Why make a second one? Yeah. I think this movie's awesome. It's great. It's perfect. You know what happened. This is the origin story. Mm-hmm. He started the riots. Bruce Wayne. I mean, what are they going to do? Have Robert Pattinson in there? A fucking bat suit? Yeah, What's going that, on now? That's, that's where I'm freaked out a little bit. Because they can't just they, leave it. They, yeah, they can't add on to that, with, especially with Joaquin at the helm. There's, he was phenomenal. There's no way you can have a Batman in Joaquin Phoenix. Because I don't think it would work. I think no, it the movie was more about An his individual. story and his diagnosis and his his um, origin. Yes, his uh, health problems and mental problems. You couldn't have like a cartoony Batman versus no. that Joker. Like it the way was, the Dark Knight was with Ledger, the way that they went back and forth, how he was like, you know what I mean? Like he was the antagonist in the movie. Exactly. Right. He, he come on, come on, come on. You know, I, I love, don't want you to do it. I want you to do it. Like that was like you felt it. Like he wanted all he wanted to do was turn Batman into a killer, into the, everything that he was. The two greatest things about that movie was when uh, Michael Caine fucking was talking to, um, you know, Bruce about yeah. how he was talking about the jewel thief yeah, and about how they were trying to catch his fucking jewel thief. And then they found out that he was just giving the jewels away. Yeah. And Dude. he didn't, he didn't get, he wasn't in it for the money. Yeah. And he said, some people just want to watch the world burn. Right. And that was fucking phenomenal and if you noticed in the the police car scene from the joker and then the scene where in batman where he's out the side of the car right yeah 
Well, the second was, that's part. That's where they kind of fucking melded together just a little bit. And it was perfect. See, see later on when, when Christian Bale, Batman, yeah. couldn't stop the Joker, then he, he went back to that story that uh, Michael Caine, Alfred, told him. Yeah. And he's like, how did you catch him? He's like, we burnt the forest down. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the only way. That was... Yeah, I'm getting right. chills just thinking about that line. <laughs> I don't know why, it but was that line so was good. fucking so good. And that's what I, that's what I mean. Like, so they they brought but those were the opening. Heath movies. Ledger, like you said, was a different. He was a different guy. They didn't go that's into his mental psycho. health. He right. was already he already flipped. Right, because you got to think about it. When when this movie takes place, Bruce Wayne is a boy. Or, <laughs> it's just a boy. But you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> when when that Joker is going at it with yeah. him. Batman's a man, and you know what I mean. Like, so this this shows you what he was like twenty years ago before, which does put Le- uh, 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 Phoenix a little bit as the, on the older side now for that. So he would be an older, older Joker then. But yeah, he'd be what fifty, fifty, yeah, sixty when they're fighting. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is though, the Joker and Batman really never fought though. It was always the Joker's minions. Because he's he's a yeah he's master, the right? evil genius yeah. right, right. He's, he's the he's a leader and if it did come down to them fighting it was his escape because he was so smart he's right. like he's like a mafia don right so and, and and that's what I mean so like you could see that and I I do like though like the ledger one he is more involved to where he's hands on and he gets dirty and he like you said he just wants to watch the world burn just, right he got all that money and he's just like, burns it just burns and he's like, like he only needed to get this much in depth you know what i mean like the the whole beginning scene of the dark knight where you know the one guy shoots the next guy shoots the next guy shoots mm-hmm. the next guy and he's the last guy standing right he got all those guys to do that right he offered all those guys so he manipulated all those guys well the That's whole movie saying. like yeah, with with so the, with the two ships he pinned them up against each other. Here's yeah. a ship of criminals. Here's a ship of civilians. You have you can blow up the other fucking thing. It was all about. It was a game to him. He never right. really killed anybody. No. Like when he had the tryouts. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's like, okay, there's three guys here. He broke the pool stick in half, and he's like, one of you get the job. Yeah, one of you gets the well, job. The only, <laughs> the only person he really it's a killed. game. It's kind of like saw. The right. guy from Saw never actually killed anybody. Well, like the Joker, the only person he actually killed was the pencil trick. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's the only. But just like Joaquin Phoenix did, he only killed a single person. He didn't go on like a murdering spree. Right. He didn't. He. It was. It's one of those ones where it's like, I will fuck that guy up. So if I do that to him, you don't think I'll do it to you? Kind of feeling. Right, because everyone yeah. ran scared. Like you kind of thought too, in like the studio when he, when you thought he was like it was gonna build. Like I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was building to the end of the movie, but when that happened, I thought it was gonna be full on out. Like he's gonna start shooting people on the crowd, and like it was gonna be just chaos. But it, I like how it ended because you know it, it shows that he wasn't just that. He wasn't just a psychopathic murderer. Right, he did it to people that belittled other people. Well, was it weird? I, know, I don't know if you've seen this movie. I know you you have. But was it weird that they cast Robert De Niro as Maury? And that movie 100% reminded me of Taxi Driver. Yeah. it's 100%. Oh, have you ever yeah. seen Taxi Driver? Yeah. For sure. That's what I'm saying. Like It, it, it was very... It was it about one guy who was going through some fucking shit. And then, like, the scenes of them, like, even Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver to Joaquin Phoenix, like, those scenes, like, by themselves. Right. Like, when Joaquin was, like, dancing and shit. I just thought of Robert De Niro with the gun, you know. You look at it, talking mirror, to me. Right. You talking to me? Right. With all his tattoos, and we would look in the mirror and, and feel powerful. Like, it's that's kind of like what I feel like Phoenix felt when he's looking in the mirror with the makeup. You know what I mean? Because that, right. that's more of an expression of who he was. Like, he felt like it was a mask where he could be him. Well, maybe it's kind of like your um, sunglasses. Right. Like, um, his mask is his, this is, he's putting on himself. When he doesn't have the makeup on, he feels like an outsider. Right. And he doesn't know how to act. But when he has the clown makeup on, he feels more comfortable. So... When I when I don't have to like have people staring at me for something, and I could just have my like my, most of the time I have my glasses on, my eyes are usually closed, or I'm like looking down, <laughs> like I'm not even. 
it's it's more of like I, I'm more relaxed and kind of just hanging out. I like to be observant in this and that too, but I like to just kind of listen. Yeah, and 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 take kind of things in. But yeah, like don't get me wrong too. There's there's times like I don't wear my glasses. I mean, I do wear my glasses a lot, but it, it, it's weird because like when I do like even for work, you deal with money. I talk to people. I look them square in the eye. I don't look away. Well, ever. it's also work though too. Right. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Different. There's there, and that's a persona. Your, your, your mind switches. Well, I've uh, even when I took on this job almost ten years ago, I built myself up an alter ego. Like oh. my first business cards didn't even have my real name on it. Well, look at Rocky and Phoenix when he was working and flipping that sign. Everything must go. Right. He was smiling. He was, he was happy. happy. And he even said he that put this on, is my he, favorite job. Yeah. Like, he put on that front. Mm-hmm. So, were you watching? Like, remember when he was practicing the jokes? The where he's in the well, before he's going yeah, he's on the morning show. Mm-hmm. He's practicing the jokes. How did the joke always end when he was practicing? Knock knock. Always did it to himself. Because right. that was his plan to kill himself. Yeah, but then that was all before he found the shit about his, his mom. Mother. Yeah, and the fucking the switch flipped. I think too. It kind of. I felt like it kind of did it mid show while it was happening. He's like, "Can you introduce me as the Joker?" And then I think like the more as he, the more he talked yeah, you, on you, the you show, start he's seeing like, the "All right, turning. I got a new fucking plan." Yeah, yeah, you could see the wheels turn. Right, like, like, he lo- like he you said, he looks so comfortable. Like before right. he went out there, because he was practicing, you know, all the, you know, he was practicing the sit down. The what game. great Hands acting! And- Even like his his dancing when he's yeah. behind the curtain was fucking right, amazing. Where he's like getting prepared. The way his and arms just- and his legs are were moving, I was like, fuck, dude. Like yeah, it, then here comes the clown, and like he comes in, like. You, you could tell he had in like an agenda the way he walked in he felt like he was and he had the cigarette lit the swagger, and he was fucking through right. it with confidence yes See, that was the yes. most confident He's he ever, ever looked right yeah. but what I think it was too is when he first met the guy he was acting because he was he already had that fucking mindset yeah right and that's so kind of his persona when he first meets De Niro and he's just like, you know, he's all ner- make it. He was making I think it he, look like he was nervous I think I he's still planning on killing himself when he first met him and then, like, yeah, when he walked out, I think, like, when he got introduced and walked out and he, like, threw the cigarette and then they started talking and De Niro just kept, you know, making and little she, puns. Right, yeah. right. He's like, all right, I got a new fucking plan. Yeah. And then that's when he was like, I killed those guys. What was I'm the, the one line who killed those the guys on the train. I can't remember. That was something like, in life, it's, there's death, like, or, or the story of my life. I hope my death is funnier than my life or something yes it made more sense yes i yes, hope my, my death, death makes made more sense, sense than, than my life. life and did you notice how sense was spelled c-e-n-t-s meaning money oh i didn't notice that yeah okay so that's what i'm saying like to him he he wanted his to make more money dead than he did alive <laughs> it's basically what he was saying pretty much the way I saw that though is like if not making sense like like with the with the ending joke the knock knock and him wanting to shoot himself I think he thought that that would have been a funnier thing for on live TV. Like that's the joke. Like it would have made more sense to die in that fashion than to die See, alone. See, I just I or, just thought it didn't. He wasn't very bright, so he just spelled it wrong. Yeah. Oh, I I first time I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, that's gonna mean something different than when we fucking. Well, if you it. could see his mother is talking about that they She's need always money. talking about money. Right, and I don't think he cares. That's the point of the sense. Like he just wanted to be happy. He didn't care about money. He didn't right. care about nothing. But and that leads to the other stories how everything too. Everything else was spelled. It was all spelled correctly. Right, and and there's those things. God, I love this time of year. <laughs> there, there's those things though that <laughs> I <laughs> a lot of trades. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things though that are in the movie that bring that story to depth of like. You know what I mean? Like, he, he never thought his entire life made sense. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> he was more trying to find himself the whole movie. And then, like I said, I think that, like, when he was going to blow himself up and, you know, shoot himself and kill, him on, uh, kill himself on stage, like, that was, like, a, a, a changing point to where it would have made more sense for him to be dead. And then things changed that his life makes sense now. Well, I think that's why he loved that job so much is because like, you know, when he was spinning the sign, like he was happy. He could put right. on a smiley face. I think he actually enjoyed it. Right. 
And then when he got fired from that, the, you like took away the only thing that, that made him, him happy. Man. Right. Well, like when he's like, oh, I forgot to punch out and punches the shit out of the mm-hmm. time clock. Right. You could see that he's fine. Like, no one ever thought he would do something and like that. And then that one guy nice... who gave him the gun betrayed him. Right. He and said, oh, you were asking for a thirty eight. Right. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that and that was the setup. Yeah. From when, because you know, he knew the cops were already talking to him, right? And that's what I'm saying. Like, so if you look at how, like, and it probably his mindset, he's looking at this guy gave me that gun. If I didn't have that gun, I wouldn't have killed these people. I wouldn't have, you know what I mean? Like, he did because at that point, he thought probably too, like, the cops are talking to him. He's going to jail. His life's over. You know what I mean? When he killed that guy, though, I don't. After that, I don't think he gave a fuck about anything anymore. I mean, he killed him right in front of that, the other guy. He knew he was going to tell. Well, right. That, that was the... Uh, At that point, he's like, fuck it. Because even like his killing his mom, like, you know, he got away with well, that. Well, also, and after killing his mom, he, he went to homegirl's apartment. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and it's... I mean, they it's, didn't show up, but yeah, he obviously, right? He murder. killed her. It's definitely implied her that kid. he killed her and the kid. Do you think so? I think so, yeah, 100%. Because you would have saw her again at the end of the movie at one point. I Honestly, I don't see the way that. way he fucking... Yeah, he did that. Yeah, I, I think that... Because I was curious because in the scene after that, when he's back at his apartment, mm-hmm. just chilling, there's police lights and sirens yeah. in the background. So I thought that they were going to his apartment. Yeah. But, it, I mean, it's never, it's up to the imagination whether he killed. Right. Because the way I saw it is that was his way of, like, not. relating. Because, like, when she, you know, he met her in the elevator, and that's what she did. She was having a bad day and this and that, like, all this stuff. And she did that. And I think that that stuck with him that, like, he's having a bad day. Well, he did it back to her right after they got out of the elevator, too. Right. Just the music and the way he did it. Gives me the feeling that it was he negative. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I didn't, I didn't really like. I said, I, I thought that was more like him trying to like tell her, like, you know, like that's when he just killed his mom. Like he's having a bad day. He's just like he just wanted to talk. He wanted to be have someone to live out his fantasy, maybe. Yeah, but of them dating. Yeah. Yeah. He, he the fantasy and reality kind of crossed over. Right. Where yeah, he exactly. thought that 100%. He, that she actually was his girlfriend and that's why she, he was there So he there went to in talk. there and sat down and then she's like, whoa. Well, she was all shocked and surprised and he's yeah. like, I had a bad day. Right. So like, like he thought, you like, come comfort me. Right. Come rub my back and I could talk to you and I thought that's where it was more like sentimental of it of like, you know what I mean? And then but like the, it doesn't show you. The way he gave her though. And then just that dead, signal. S- that dead stare. That dead yeah, evil fucking stare. Yeah, you, yeah, you can see where you're coming from. It could definitely be where you did. So, Which, what was your initial reaction? Like, when credits started rolling. What did you think about the movie? One of the best written movies I have ever seen. I was blown away. I honestly didn't want it to be over, and like I said, I instantly started thinking, I want to see more. Like, yeah, it was so fucking good. I was in a different. I, I don't know. I'm a very like positive person. Yeah, I like movies are like an escape to me right laughter I had, like, like as soon as the movie ended it was your, what i expected but it wasn't what i expected your anxiety right. attack stopped <laughs> like i used to there was this i was super into fucking basketball when i was a kid in high school and shit and uh i saw a preview for this movie called oh and like in the I remember pre- that. in the previews, <laughs> there's like basketball and shit and all this stuff. Well, I didn't know it was like a fucking Shakespearean play. Right, yeah, it's, it's a, a love it's, story. It's a fellow. So I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like basketball and you know high school kids and blah blah blah. It is the most like emotionally twisted movie I've. I, right, there's yeah. so much racial anxiety in the movie too, where the tension where they make it so. The dude was just evil as fuck. Right. I mean, he, Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen fucking O, but he fucking... If you haven't seen O, you shouldn't be He pins this this fucking guy who's very popular, great basketball player, Josh Hartnett, pins um, Mackay Pfeiffer. Yeah, it was Mackay Pfeiffer. Yeah, and Julia Stiles. Yeah. So he ends up... I don't know how you know his name. He sets this whole thing up. He ends up strangling his fucking girlfriend because the guy manipulated him. Mm -hmm. So he thinks that she's cheating. And then he ends up like killing himself at the end. 
and like I I felt I got the same reaction from the Joker <laughs> as I did from this. So I was hold like, on, real quick though, look at how that movie the is. Fuck, there was some ingenious person who was able to manipulate manipulate. People. A murder. I just, I honestly had an uncomfortable feeling. Like as soon as the credits rolled, I was like, "Who? There's nothing positive in there. <laughs> Not <laughs> one thing." In you know, I like to stare at the cosmos and look at the stars think and think about, of life yeah. and shit. And in, in all honesty, I felt every every minute of that negativity in that movie. Yeah, you feel his pain. You really do. I'm you like, feel for the guy. I'm, that's why so I, much empathy. I honestly so thought that the him. acting was better than the actual movie don't get me yeah. wrong the movie is yeah. great but his performance was fucking outstanding yeah I, like i said anytime he's like doing something i felt uncomfortable for him i felt sorry for him i i had an emotion was, for everything like that he fucking worthy. did yes it was a movie that at the end you took a deep breath and finally got it out like because you needed it's a roller coaster yes you the whole time oh. you're on the edge and you're like what is gonna? What is he gonna do? I just and yeah. I just amazing. I just sat through the credits for a while and I was, see. I need to let this. See, I wonder. Breathe. We didn't. We sat there for probably a good halfway through the credits. I don't think there was anything else at the end. Of I it. do still wonder though. Well, I'm sure you can Google it. Well, no, because they because hey, the last scene the last scene they shot was him running back and forth with the orderlies. Right. So, like, what if it showed him like at the end, like. Hopping in an ambulance, driving away, laughing. I don't like know. I'm just saying, you know what I mean. It would have been something, or or you're hoping you're hoping for it to tie into another movie. I that's not I really want me. more. I that's that's how I felt afterwards. I wanted more, and I'm not gonna lie. I was having like heart. Well, I was telling fucking, you, I was telling you in the car because because of a uh, what's his name, fucking the other Joker, that Jared Leto. Yeah, it, you know, bitching about the movie and shit. Joaquin wasn't going to do it, and then they offered him points on the movie, which means... He gets a cut. He gets yeah. a cut. If you're getting a percentage he, on that... He made $400 million for that movie above his salary. <laughs> What's crazy is that... <laughs> $400 fucking million dollars because Jared Leto was trying to get it stopped. Wow. That's what I'm saying, I, though. I, Jared Leto is an amazing actor, but they just... I, that whole movie didn't... That movie was a pile of shit. That whole movie was Suicide shit. Squad. The Will o- Smith is an amazing actor. The he only, fucking sucked in it, too. The yeah. only person I gave a shit about in that movie was uh, the fucking uh, Pyro. The Pyro guy. Oh, the, with the family. Yeah. yeah. That's El the Diablo. only guy I gave a shit about in that movie. Well, how about guy fucking Snakes and Sparklers? He lasted about 10 seconds in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, his head blown off. Yeah, right, right away. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like... Some of those movies, I know that they're just they're different. And it's they made that movie because Marvel was coming out with the all the Avengers shit, and they're just like, let's put something out there to fucking combat against them. Right, and it didn't work. It didn't work. Don't get me wrong; it's a, it was a good concept that like it was like superheroes that were bad that well, were going to be good. Let's be honest but, in that whole, but realm, it wasn't dark enough. No, in that no. whole realm, that movie needed to be dark, right? That for whole sure. DC realm of those. It was movies, basically a comedy. That super that Superman the Superman movies they made weren't very good. Superman yeah. versus Batman wasn't very good. The Batman Ben Affleck Batman not. Good. I didn't even watch that. The the only one out of serious. that like Wonder Woman was okay. I watched that on a plane. Right. Well, Avengers, so. Avengers took so long. Everyone had their own story. Own story. Right. So you yeah, knew an origin. You knew this. Yeah. DC just went like, they're just okay, throw, so they're they have, throw movies they have Cyborg, The Flash, yeah. and uh, did Aquaman? No, yeah. he had a movie after. Yeah. So they're all going to get movies after they already have well, a no, Justice League? The Flash... Had the, it was the CW show or the yeah, but that's not it's. I it, mean, it's not in that realm. Yeah, though. it is. Yeah, that's the same guy that played the Flash on TV. That's the same one. Yeah, how dare you? It is. Is it the new Flash? I'm just saying uh, they they in a, in a twain. I'm just saying yeah, they all just this stuff. You you they wedged it all. They in. did it right with the Avengers. Yeah. as they slow they played it. it and they made. Oh well, we can make you know this much just slapping out a fucking infinity war or we can drag this out for 10 fucking years and make I think a movie after stop, movie yeah. after movie like what happened to x-men yeah but i still like x-men i mean don't get me wrong the new ones are shit but they were still good 
I don't know. Well, they could see, be they so the, much better. They went the they they went to the last resort. They went yeah. right, right to tra- time travel. So yeah, and now, and that's, now there's different time zones. And who is this? And where is this? Right. Yeah. You don't know what universe it is. I think that X Men will probably die out, and maybe in another fifteen twenty years, you'll see a real dark. They'll reboot it. They'll reboot it, and they'll make it to where it's like real dark. They, they are. They are going to reboot it. And I but, hope it goes to that. Like, like I think um, Deadpool kind of did. But you, you know, get to a things. point where that is that is the character. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. I'm sorry. Right. So he played it so If you were to good. recast, like if they were to come out with a Wolverine next year, I'd yeah. be like, "What the fuck is this?" And it's some young stud. Because it's what you grew up with, and that's different. But like I'm, I'm saying like yeah. Let's say there is some the dude that played Aquaman, Jason like, Momoa. Yeah, yeah, like that dude. If he played like a that different kind, but Robert Downey Jr. He's Iron Man forever. Yeah, right. And Anything he does, he's Iron Man. So what if they made like? Because he played it so fucking good. So Chris, good. Chris Helmsworth, fucking all, all, all those guys. They they did. They killed yeah. the roles. They really did. There's not gonna be another Thor. No, like, no. that's what I mean. Like, but are they you, really gonna re? Like, yes, you need they to will. let. I they will. Because these young kids, but they have are, to let it. You gotta, gotta let, let it breathe. Die. So let who are breathe. these young kids that grew up and idled? Like a Channing Tatum. Like, so you slap some glasses on Channing Tatum and make him a rich asshole. Do you he know could be Iron Chatting, Man. Chatting Tatum? Uh-huh. Supposed to be Gambit, wasn't he? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, that would this be. This is in the making for uh, years, and it hasn't come to fruition. I think he could probably be a good guy, but at the same time, some of his acting. Like, I was so pumped when Wolverine got a standalone movie. And I was like, Phew. and then I found out Gambit was going to be in it. My two favorite comic book characters of all time. That movie was fucking trash. Well, and then look what they did with yeah. Deadpool in that movie. Yeah, what the, the end, fuck? Finally <laughs> shut you up. Yeah. That's it, what I'm saying. And, like, it, 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 they do little tweaks in different even stories. Even Ryan Reynolds and, makes fun of that fucking movie. Right. It was <laughs> bad. One of but the his best. other one, Logan... I, I the kinda, last one. I kind of really liked it. But it was awesome. Yeah, like, Old Man Logan, first off, is a great comic book run. And then when they made it to that. That was just a good movie. Yeah, right. 100%. And the way that they finally were able to express the real, like when he's getting jumped or whatever, and he's like, motherfucker. And he's like just slashing. Like that's what you would think of, of a real, you yeah, know, they're, person they're, that was letting out his aggressions and his emotions and fighting for his life. But he actually, you know, yeah, well, he they, has some super they, we have shit. We have... Let's not forget, we have Deadpool to thank for all of these fucking Right, movies. that's what I was yeah. just saying. Old Man Deadpool Logan, started it. Rated R, the yep. new Joker movie, Deadpool started all of this right. shit. Yep. And I do, but at the same time... Nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Batman. I am wrong. What? Blade started all of this shit. Motherfucker. That is that is pretty true, though. Blade is but the first rated R fucking comic, comic book movie. And it was yeah. amazing. Was it, Amazing. Wasn't Spawn rated R? Or was that rated PG? I'm um, talking about the first. I do think Marvel. so. But that was like a shitty movie yeah. that was good because of... Michael Jai White being a badass. <laughs> Fuck. What was uh, that John movie? Lizim- John, John Ligazim- Ligazamo. Ligazamo. Yeah. I love his stand-ups. He's so fucking good. But yeah, he had a funny fucking role the in that clown, movie. Yeah. The Clown. That's what well, I Well, I'm going for Marvel. Movie. For Marvel, yeah. But definitely, that was the, Blade. the biggest. Blade is... Such a realistic. Blade is my favorite Marvel the, comic. The first, my favorite comic the first movie two, is Blade. The third one was not good. No, yeah, <laughs> so but I can talk about it. Yeah, it didn't right. exist. Yeah, just All like, right, back to the Joker. Just, <laughs> so, what? Are, how are we going to do our ratings <laughs> for these movies now? Because we can't do stars. We can't do two thumbs up. Can't do any of that shit. Can't do popcorn. Can't do popcorn. How many wieners in the popcorn bowl? How many wieners in the popcorn bowl? <laughs> How many holes are getting drilled? Five hard how many, cocks. How many? Yeah, we going five. We're going hard cocks on this one. How many hard cocks? How many hard cocks? All right. Rating what do we wise, have? Yes. Are we really doing? Are we ending it. We got literally five minutes left of this podcast. How dare you? It's so easy to talk about something you, you know you enjoy. Just it was rolls. a great. It was a great movie. It really been, was. So if you haven't seen it, first of all, you shouldn't be listening to this. Yeah. <laughs> and go see it. We're just gonna call this a uh, TGD spoils your movies. But that was that was amazing movie, and I do hope to go see some other things. There's some good stuff that's came out recently. Like I want to see Zombieland too. I thought that that 100%. was a really good movie. Um, well, I'm just glad that these 
rated R dark movies are Coming doing back. good. Yes. Because that gives More people, room for, yes. Right. To, to, to do I this. mean, the craziest part of this movie probably is that direct the director of this movie is the same guy who did like old school. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's, yeah, it is. But that's what I mean. Like how you could take, he could be a visionary in that way in a comic movie. Well, what's fucked up is they kind of, they kind of asked him without like asking him or whatever mm-hmm. about like, why don't you make, you know, comedies and shit? And he's like, nowadays, what's, you really can't. What's a comedy though? Right. Like we said, because when, when's the everybody's so like social justice like warrior. Said, the funny parts and, in the yep, Joker. 100%. Where like he walks into that class. I, a lot I was of, fucking dying. I was dying. Like. That was hilarious. You know what, though? I was dying, and I go, fuck, I've done that before, too. <laughs> right. We've all been there. It's an exit only, buddy. Especially when he's talking to the cops, and he's so confident. And then he just, it was like one of the most fun. confident parts he ever had. Yeah. Right. And it was shut down just and like that. And I think that. that's because right after that, he went upstairs and killed his mother. He's like, no, no, that was. do I was really it? look no. like a guy who would he do that? And he flicks his cigarette with confidence, asylum. and then he walks into a fucking glass door. Right. Like, just like, killing yeah. his confidence. Right, like, he nah, had a smidgen of it, and it was gone. <laughs> well, it's because they also wronged him by having his going questioning his mother, and she had the stroke. Right. Yeah. Before, but that's all before he went to the fucking. So he was pissed off. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like a second one where he goes after the cops now. Or those cops s- got the shit. Yeah, they shit did. Yeah, in. yeah, mm-hmm. they did. He got them jumped as so. he as he watched them do it. Critical condition. They said they were in. So Sta- critical yet stable. Shit, serious. Which, like I said, that's he. It was all people that he killed or all people that wronged him. Right. Great fucking movie. Killed his mother. Can't wait for more of them. She wronged like him. It. Like I'd like to see an origin, like just just something dark, like an origins of like Sabretooth from X Men, and like all of a sudden, next thing you know, it could be just him ripping the shit out of people, and then yeah, you could bring someone in like a, a Wolverine that like. Well, you you know, you know why this one did so well? Name a better comic book villain than, than Joker. Joker. No, yeah, no, it's you, so you can't, and especially after Heath Ledger, I know so many people had their doubts of like. You can't fucking top it. Well, you I know think, why? Because Jared Leto came in and shit all over the franchise. Yeah, but I think that the one the one thing that the Batman has over any other comic books or comic book characters is that it's real people. Yeah, there, there's no superpowers. Like Batman right. is not Superman. Right. Batman has no superpowers. Right. He's just a rich dude that got to he's use just, military technology. Yes. And that's why, well, you get back to the emotion of, like, let's say, you know, real people versus CGI. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, when Batman's doing something, like, he you, gets hurt. Right. Like, he has, like, you can see his bruises. That's like with the Joker. You saw him when he got his hurt, ass kicked. Right. He had bruises. It made him. you feel more as if it was real. It, yeah, and exactly. It's you more can like relate. something that can happen. None of... Well, basically, none of Batman's villains were like super villains. Right, they like, were real people. Insurmountable powers. Right, Bane wasn't. No, he was just a. I don't remember there being any that had like mystical superpowers. Right, right. even like back in the day, like Mister Freeze, he he didn't have like. Oh, I guess uh, Ivy did and shit, but, but still. But. No, Poison Ivy got all that because she was working in a chemical factory. Right. Chemical in her. Abs- right, exactly. So, well, so the, yeah, mean, the, that's joke, super the Joker was, I mean, he fell in a bat, bat of, of fucking the bat bat toxic. toxic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The toxic bat plastic. Bat. Well, what I wanted to say about the, the Dark Knight. But he wasn't invincible. No one's invincible no. in the Batman genre. Yeah. Right. But the, the, those Dark Knight movies and stuff, the reason why you related, I feel like that I related so much to those is because. You, all right, so he has all this aggression and anger, which I'm sure there's a lot of people that, that lost a family member. Like, he lost his parents, a tragedy of, you know what I mean, a, a, a shit society of fucking some bad people for no reason. So he takes it to a darker place where he has all this, you know, anger built up. He finally had enough where people were getting hurt that he stood up for them, like, as if, like, an, another anti. But you felt for him. Well, there's so many people where you see something bad on the news, you're like, give me five fucking minutes in a room with that guy. That well, did that. And as a person, it's easy for Superman to save people. Right. It's easy for this, you know, Wolverine to go this into a building. This guy put his and body on the line in his life to he, try to save yes, others. That's, and that's why I, I mean, relate and feel for more of a realistic. Feeling he's doing to it just to do to it. He loves the city. Right, and he has all this anger built up that he wants to help 
others and he wants it to stop and not anyone else to feel the way he did right and that's a big thing in life of people standing up to where even you know what i mean whatever you are you could be a famous basketball player and you don't like you're shy and laid back and you don't but you're an icon so you do positive things to help the community because you know people look up to you in a way unless you're charles barkley right i, I mean still I'm not a role model but you still love him <laughs> because he's real you know what i mean yeah those, those batman movies were was a was a guy who was put down and put down and was looked at as a fucking rich drunk piece of shit nobody who didn't care about anyone but himself and that all changed you know what i mean with uh, how he he took his aggression and instead of taking it out on like alcohol and drugs and women and partying to get away from the reality of losing his father he went to help others and use that anger and that that ambition for good and that's why you can relate in these newer realistic movies are so more in depth and make you attached to the to the character because yeah. you feel that way in certain things in life when you see something bad and you, you know the that's same why time bad, i mean yeah gambit and wolverine probably my two favorite i mean i love watching the x-men as a kid right but batman for sure because he's just a, a dude. normal dude and how many times, like, you know, in the world, there's people that see something bad happening. Someone's getting beat up or someone's getting robbed. And they could maybe stand up and go help that person and stop it. But self-preservation kicks in and they run to save themselves because... Well, now everyone videotapes it. So some I, guy's oh, got yeah, his... 100%. Some guy has his phone out and he's <laughs> running to the fight and he's like, get him off of him. Right. Drop your fucking phone and, do and you home. get him off of him. But then, right. then no, he's going to film it. Then he might get turned around and stabbed, and that's the risk that Batman takes and why you feel for him doing something that's so courageous and helping others. It's you fucking got it. It's rating time. Hmm? It's rating time. Five hard cocks. I want to say that clear. Okay. Five hard cocks. <laughs> Is that our official rating <laughs> system? I kind of just made it up earlier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no, let's go with... Okay, uh, so yeah. Can we go with planets? How many planets it's... How many planets are there? There's probably a billion, but we don't even know. In our solar system, there's eight. Pluto. We How can't many count shockers Pluto? do you give it? <laughs> no one gives it the shocker. How dare you? <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. Uh, you want to just do an A A minus scale kind of sliding scale? Do you? Want How many to? pennies would you give it? <laughs> I'd give it. A, or, or, I'd give that a full dollar. Or, or are we just gonna do? A, <laughs> how about we do a rewatchable scale? On a, you know, I'm just gonna say it's a ten. It's a ten, a ten on a re- not ten. out of a hundred, bro. Out of ten, ten out of ten, hundred out of hundred. Just for the, it's, it's a phenomenal. The performance gets an eleven. The movie gets a ten. He's for yeah. sure gonna win some awards for that, oh, and it, best actor, you know, best picture, best movie, all that, whatever the fucking awards are. It was even so if you're, I mean, well like done. like I said, after the movie ended, I was like. Whew. I was a little uncomfortable, I'm not going to lie. The well, first time I saw it, I was like, oh. It, I just had so much shit. That's why I didn't want to do it right after the right. movie ended. Like, yeah, you gotta, just take you gotta, a night, think about it. Cause you got a warm blanket it, it almost. It was, it was fucking intense. I mean, if you're not into it, you're not into it. But just respect the art and respect the performance. And the way the movie was shot was fucking amazing. The close-ups on his feet... And his hands while he's dancing and the, the music, it was, it, it was fucking so well done. It was awesome. It, yeah. it, it's a masterpiece. It is. Play you don't it, say what you will about the movie. If it brought out a weird emotion or you thought it was too dark, the movie, it was. Fucking it's got amazing. All, it's got it everything great. it needs. It was great. It's if, if five hard cocks for me. <laughs> five hard cocks. <laughs> if if a movie doesn't bring the emotion out in you, what's the point? All right, real quick, I want to hear, let me, before we end this, let me let me hear your guys' joke or laugh. No. What do you mean, no? I, I ain't got one. <laughs> let, let me hear, what, what would your evil villain joke or laugh be? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a head nod. Huh? Just a head nod. I don't even know. I haven't even practiced it. I'm just trying to put you on the spot. I think that was pretty That's fucking good. Better than mine. I can't even get <laughs> that. Was, that was pretty good to, to, to Phoenix's role there. Yeah. That was. Well, Frankie had a great one earlier, but I don't think it's going to That's just my normal out. laugh. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I guess I just laugh very <laughs> psycho-ish. Well, no, it was just, it was your normal laugh, and then at the end you're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 
You got to drag out that. Rocky and Phoenix dragged out that last time. <laughs> <laughs> when he does that around the corner and he walks and then the he corner stops and he and stops on a. And what's great oh. is that would they. And he's see, just buttoning his shirt. It's just totally normal. Perfect. Uh, directing and music wise yep like how they had no like there was no like music it was just him laughing and then dead silence when he's honestly, done. If and it was that awkwardness of him done laughing and walking, walking around down the corner, the corner yeah. if you could only hear that soundtrack throughout that movie if you didn't see any of the visuals and just heard you if you heard were, gary glitter you were <laughs> no well besides that but just like the the people were bitching about that too because of the time it was because time when it came out and when the Bat when the Joker was supposed to take place. It's like these motherfuckers still play that song at sporting events. Was oh, he yeah. a pedophile? Yeah, he was a mm. child molester. He's a or, or not child molester. He found child porn at his house. Right. The guy who yeah. Gary Glitter who and, did and, that. And also the uh, rock and roll part two. Yeah. Let me da, break, da, da, let me tell you something da, else. Da, they also da, found da, da. child porn at fucking Pete Townsend's house, but no one's fucking no one's fucking you know, Hey dude. Hold on, I, I, real quick. One more comment for we end. Five dollar foot longs. <laughs> were you were you watch that the part where the music kicked in and he was like like building up the bull song right? Gary that, Glitter, yeah. yeah, rock and roll part two. Okay, da, 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 da. that guy, his songs, people were bitching about it because, because he, he had, had child porn. child porn on his fucking whatever. That's uh, honestly one of the most. They still hype. play it at sporting events, right? Uh, when I hear that song, growing up watching the Bulls and having the same birthday as Jordan and loving Jordan, watching that and listening to that brought me back to feeling so hyped. I love that part. And I absolutely love it. Now you know it. the truth. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's now, what I mean. really I don't even care, it. bro. Like, it's like watching an thing, old I love that Bill song. Cosby stand-up. Right, still so fucking funny. Uh, yeah, it's funny as fuck. <laughs> 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 Before we get sued. All right, for the first ever Gentleman's Den movie review. Woo! We don't have a closing song yet for this, so we're just going to shut it off like assholes. <laughs> for Jeff. I'm going to do the Joker left For Frankie. Ended. For me, Sean. <laughs> thank you all very much for listening. Sorry about the spoilers if you haven't seen it. And if you uh, listen to this before that, you're an idiot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>